It all started with a broken heart Got 100% on my math test today. I thought she'd be proud, Dad. Believe me, I am proud of you, dear. You're doing great. But Sally's in a really, really bad mood. And so am I. I have a migraine. I can't handle too much noise. What happened? <sighs> well, you deserve to know. You are Sally's little sister, after all, Fern. Remember when we met the judge? Um, the, the judge? You mean judge as in Judge Judy? Because I thought we never met her. Or maybe that really wasn't a dream. <gasps> I knew it! Shh, no. You mean judge as in... I mean the judge of the Paul County School District. Oh yeah, he was cool. And scary. He certainly is scary, which is why Sally has gotten into major trouble lately. She has 52 lunch fines and 8 library fines, and she still hasn't returned to the books. Oh. Wow. Well, um, uh, and the total cost of all the fines combined is $390. Um, $390? That's right, Fern. $390. That cost me nearly all my savings. And now, thanks to Sally, we're on a really low budget here. I hardly have enough money to even live here anymore. In fact, with how it's going so far... What, Dad? What's wrong? We're not going to be homeless, are we? we? We can't be homeless. We'll... We'll starve. I don't want us to lose each other, Dad. I've been such a jerk. Fern? <laughs> hey. Shh. <laughs> Baby, it's okay. What on earth has gotten into you? mistakes, honey. It's part of life. And obviously, when you do those things to other people, they definitely deserve an apology. But now that you've given me one, and you feel bad and recognize your mistake, that's good enough. I just wish that your sister would do the same. What happened with, with the fines? Is she... Is she... Is she... Is she what? Is she going to jail? No, 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 not at all, Fern. But she certainly got severe consequences. She has to make $390 worth of chores. And that's going to take 78 weeks, more than a year. But, Daddy, isn't that a little bit harsh? No, no, wipe those tears. And no, it's not harsh. She deserves it. She is putting our lives at risk right now. But she didn't... She didn't mean to, did she? Sally's not even like that. Or maybe it's all my fault. Maybe she did it because of me. Fern, come on now. This is why I hesitated to tell you. 
I knew you would be emotional about the whole thing, and I don't want you to think badly about yourself. Maybe you just need to... Well... I'm not exactly sure what to tell you. I was gonna say go on up ahead to your room, but... Sally's in there, and she's in a bad mood, like I said. Like a seriously bad mood. And Fern, I don't want you to be in the same room as her without me. Can we just go talk to her, please? I'm sure none of this was her fault, though. She doesn't do stuff like this. Fern, we don't have any other choice. And I had to ground her for even longer. You'll never guess what she did. What? What'd she do? <sighs> she snuck alcohol into the teacher's lounge. Stay down here. Stay right where you are. Don't come into Sally's room. I'm going to have to deal with her. But Dad, wait! Dad, please! still here. You don't deserve any of this. You're just a waste of space. You're so ugly. You're so fat. No one will care if you're not here anymore. You don't even serve a single purpose here. No one loves you. Everyone's disappointed in you right now. Everybody hates you. No one even likes you. They never did. Mom doesn't care about you. Your own father is unfair towards you, and it's all your fault! You don't deserve any of the blessings that you have! The only thing you deserve is death, and harm, and sadness, and that's exactly what you've gotten! That's the only thing that you stand for! You're not worth it! You're not worth it to anyone. You deserve all the pain you've gotten, Sally Garcia. All of it. You deserve every little bit of sadness and devastation you've ever gotten in your entire life. You deserve it all. Such a fat, ugly, hot dog. Just like Mary said, they're all right. Why would everyone hate you if they're not right? Why would everyone hate you if you're worth it? It's all a big lie. Bridget, Waldo, Stanley, they've all lied to you about who you are. You're not worth anything to anyone. You never will be. Ever! Sally, open this door. Go away! The pain... If you don't open the door by the time I count to three, I will extend your ground. One, two, three. <sighs> what do you want from me? I heard all your screaming from right over there. I came to calm you down. Stop yelling like that. You're going to scare your sister, or even influence her to become like you. Sally, face it. This is your mistake. This is your fault. There is no one, no one out there I tell you to blame but yourself. And you have to accept that. It's not that hard to just accept the facts and move on with your life. It's hard to accept when I didn't even do anything in the first place. Well, right now, Dad, you've ruined my life. My social life, everything. You can't homeschool me again. 
It's not my fault. Any of this that happened, none of it, none of it. Yes, it is, Sally. Promise me one of these days that you will give me a chance to tell my side of the story. Promise me if you truly love me like a daughter. Or am I just a slave to you <laughs> to take out all your anger on? Don't you say that to your father. Honestly, you mutt? I don't know what to call you anymore. My punishment could get any worse. So I might as well just do whatever I want, am I right? I deserve to go to school and I deserve to meet up with my boyfriend and my other two friends, Bridget and Waldo. You can't just do this to me. I refuse to be homeschooled, especially by you. Let me just go move back in with Ma. That's it. It's official. You're grounded for another year. That's it, Dad. You deserved this for a long time. Happy now? This time, that's it. Things can't get any worse than this. That's right. This is what I wanted. This is what my life has led to after all these years. This is what I deserve. Dad! No, give me back! That's my only source of happiness love. No, you give it back right now! You obviously don't care about your body at all. You are such a beautiful girl. Don't waste that. You know what, Dad? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry for hitting you and causing all this chaos. I'm sorry for scaring my little sister even though she's ruined me. I'm sorry for being an ugly, fat disappointment. I'm sorry for being the source of hatred on this earth. But even though I'm sorry for all of that, that doesn't mean that I don't have my own side to the story. And you won't let me share it, no matter what. You're being so unfair to me, and it hurts me, that even though I'm your daughter, you just won't take the chance to listen. <laughs> Sally, no, no, no! Ow! 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 Sally, you cut yourself! Stay right here. Fern! Huh? Fern, quick, call an ambulance! It's your sister. Is. Can't believe I didn't do this before in my life. I know, right? It's so much fun. Whoopsies. Looks like I dropped it. No worries. I do that all the time.